In a college mathematics class, all students are also taking anthropology, history, or psychology. And some of the students are taking two or even all three of these courses. Suppose 40 students are taking anthropology, 45 students are taking history, 40 students are taking psychology, 2 students are taking all three courses, 15 students are taking anthropology and history, 20 students are taking psychology and anthropology. How many students are taking only anthropology? How many students are taking anthropology or history? How many students are doing anthropology and history, but not psychology? So this is a three-set Venn diagram, and don't let the mathematics class bother you. That's not a fourth set. We are talking about three sets, students who are taking anthropology, students who are taking history, students who are taking psychology. So we are just talking about the students in a particular math class, so don't worry too much about math. And it will seem like in this problem that you will feel like you don't have enough data, you don't have enough info to solve the problem, but actually you do. And that's what makes this problem a bit more challenging than a typical Venn diagram problem. So I'm going to go ahead and solve this problem for you. When you have a three-set Venn, a three-set Venn splits, or a Venn diagram, splits your universe into eight disjoint regions. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These people haven't taken any of the three courses. These people are taking all three courses. These people are taking anthropology and history, but not psychology. These people are taking history and psychology, but not anthropology. These people are taking anthropology and psychology, but not history. These people are taking only anthropology and not the other two disciplines or um, courses. And these people are taking only history, and these people are taking only psychology. These are some of the things you absolutely have to understand. Another important thing in Venn diagram is the word only. If I say five people took only anthropology, five goes here. But if I say five people took anthropology, the sum of these four numbers should be five. Okay? If I say if 20 people took only history, 20 goes here. If I say 20 people took history, these four dots, these four regions should add up to 20. In this question, you you will feel like you don't have enough data, you don't have enough info, but actually you do have plenty of info to answer the question they're asking you to answer. So it's solvable. Don't get too frustrated. Think, think it through and my solution follows. So having understood that, let's go ahead and use our facts to fill in our Venn diagram. I'm going to start with this one. It's always a good idea if you have this number, put it in. Two students took all three, so I'm going to put two here. Okay, now 15 took anthropology and history. Okay, this, these two numbers in this football should be 15. It doesn't say 15 students took only anthropology and history. In that case, the number 15 would go here. But since it says 15 took anthro and history, 15 should be the sum of this football. So I'm going to write, this has to be 13. And you absolutely want to get it. Let me make sure I can see the number. Now. 13 plus 2 is 15, and 15 did take anthro and history. Of course, some of these people took psychology as well. So I've addressed that. Let's address this one. 20 students are taking psychology and anthropology. So this football should add up to 20. Why? Because it doesn't say 20 students took only psychology and anthropology, then 20 would go here. But since it says 20 students are taking psychology and anthropology, some of them may or may not be taking history. So these two numbers should add up to 20, and that makes this number 18. Okay, now let's use, let's fill out what we can fill out, anthro here. 40 students are taking anthropology, so all these four numbers should add up to 40. Now, 18 plus 2 is 20. 20 plus 13 is 33. 33 plus 7 is 40. 
so that has to be 7. So if it said 40 took only anthropology, you would put 40 here. But it doesn't say that. It says 40 took anthropology. Some of these 40 students may have taken history or psychology or both. So the only way that could be true is if you add all these four numbers, you would get 40. That's the only way it could be true. Now I haven't, in, I haven't used these two. I'm going to change the color. These two lines, I'm sorry. So what do I do? 45 students are taking history. Okay, I don't know what this is or this is, but I do know that these two numbers, whatever they may be, should add up to if this 13 plus 2 is 15, and if these four numbers in the history circle has to be 45, so this has to be 30. Okay, this is why the problem seems like it doesn't have enough info because you really cannot find out what goes here and what goes here. All you can say is that these two numbers better add up to 30. Why? Because 30 plus 13 plus 2 is 45. Again, this is a good time to pause and ma make sure you do understand what's going on. I'm going to do the same thing with this line. 40 students are taking psychology. So. 40 students are taking psychology, so these two numbers plus these two should be 40. The psychology circle should add up to 40, but these two numbers add up to 20, so these two numbers better add up to 20 as well, because 20 plus 20 is 40. Now, it's a unique problem because in most Venn diagram problems, we can identify or associate a number with each region but here we can't. But that's okay. Maybe we don't need to know those things. Maybe. One more thing, the very first line in a college mathematics class, all students are also taking anthropology, history, or psychology. That line tells me that nobody is taking none of the three, so I'm going to put a zero here. Okay. Now I have my Venn diagram. It looks a little crude, but I have it, and that's all I can get or glean from what I'm given. Let's try to answer these questions. Let's see if I can change the color to red. Let's answer A. How many students are taking only anthropology? I'm going to go with 7. I know 40 students are taking anthropology, but they're taking some of these 40 students are taking history and psychology. The question says, how many students, students are taking only anthropology? The answer is 7. How many students are taking anthropology or history? Anthropology or history? That simply means everything in the anthro circle and history circle all added together. Anthropology or history means the union of anthropology and history. And if you add them all up, these two should be 30 and these two should be 20. That'll be 50 plus 7 and 13 will be 70. So the answer will be 70 here, 70. Once again, anthropology or history means everything in the anthro circle and everything in the history circle all added together and the sum 30 plus 2 plus 18 plus 7 plus 13 turns out to be 70. We did part B. Part C. How many students are taking anthropology and history? Note the word and but not psychology. So the person must be taking anthropology and history but not psychology. Two people are taking psychology. I cannot include that so the answer will be 13. If the question had asked how many people are taking anthropology and history, the answer would be 15. But it clearly says they're taking anthropology and history, but not psychology. So you have to subtract 2. The answer is 13. So we have all three answers, even though we don't know what each of these parts represent. That's our solution.